All right, guys, today in front of me from Jack Daniels, we have their latest release of their single barrel, barrel proof rye whiskey. Uh, the company did state that this is going to be a permanent extension to their single barrel line, so you will be able to find these on the shelves next to their other single barrel offerings. Um, they did pull these barrels from the highest reaches of the warehouse to provide those deep, dark, rich aromas and flavors. Obviously, I am beyond excited to get into this review, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, this is a new permanent extension to the Jack Daniels line. Um, this is the newest barrel proof rye release. This one comes in at 137.3 proof. The mash bill on this one is 70% rye, 18% corn, 12% malted barley. Let's get in the nose. So one of the first things that I get on this is this cherry kind of banana bread. Um, very, very cherry forward. There's a lot of banana influence in this one. Um, further into the glass, further away from the glass, um, I pick up like this uh, almost like a dry kind of oak and then there's also some rye there's actually like the rye um, the, the, the aroma of a rye on here you know it's not it's not masked by anything um, but further away from the glass that rye definitely stands out with some of that kind of um, like a like a dried like a dried oak dried aged oak and then further into the glass it offers this beautiful kind of like cherry and um, and, and banana like a kind of very very creamy There's also, further into the glass, there's also a lot of baking spices that are present. I do pick up some nutmeg, like some allspice, uh, but that, you know, that that fruity note and that, that banana note are definitely very, very present. It's very just kind of rich and dense. Further away, that, you know, that offers like a little bit of that that dried oak, a little bit of leather, uh, but that rye is, is definitely present there on, on the nose. Let's get the palate, guys. Cheers. Wow. So... On the front of the palate on that one, it's it's like this, uh, it's almost like a combination of like a, a dark cherry, but then like a plum there, the, the sweetness of that fruit. Middle of the palate is this uh, like creamy kind of banana pudding that sits there. And then, but there's also the rye flavor. So I'm getting a lot of rye flavor there. And you know, surprisingly enough, I honestly thought that this was going to, either you know burn my palate out with the with the proof or dry me out with um how high that proof is and, and being awry this does not drink 137.3 proof this goes down way too easy for that it doesn't give you that proof burn it doesn't give you that that big old bomb of of that rye spice though but what it does provide is that nice kind of rye flavor along with that very creamy kind of banana um pudding there a little bit of like that like like that creamy banana pudding with some of those like vanilla wafers that are in there because there's there is some vanilla kind of influence in there it's it's very subtle but it's definitely there and as it reaches the back like the mid to back palette i do pick up some dried leather and then it's like a a white and black pepper kind of mixture that pulls through into the finish and it's a medium to long finish on this one i, I would say a little bit on the longer side of things but man, that is that is packed full of flavor. Mm. Let's get a second sip, guys. Yeah, I mean, I I'm I'm very surprised by this one because that second sip changed a lot. It offered way more texture and mouthfeel to that second sip, and it's like it's mouth watering. You know, you would think that something that high proof being a rye would kind of dry you out initially. But the front of the palate, again, I'm not, it's not, you know, there's not a ton of flavor on the front of the palate, but there is that kind of dark kind of fruity sweetness that leads into that creamy kind of uh, banana pudding with some of those, like, like a subtle hint of like some vanilla. But then the rye flavor, the rye flavor is what actually is very surprising to me because it's so kind of pronounced there. But the sweetness from that that kind of creamy banana pudding, it, it's not masking it in any way. Like there, it's almost that that perfect mixture of the two. And then, you know, I, I was getting some of that like dried leather, 
slight hint of like some oak there on the, on the mid to back palette, but there's definitely some saffron there that kind of mingles in with those. And between all of the, you know, the, the white and black pepper, the saffron and that dried leather, it's, it, it starts to kind of pull down through the finish. Again, offering a, a very, you know, medium to long finish, more on that longer side. But the flavors on this are just so, they're, they're so dense and robust and, and pronounced. And it's leaving a really nice kind of oily residue and film across the palate, up on the soft palate, on the cheeks. But it's not, the nice part is it's, it's not drying me out. And again, there's not that big old burst of that rye spice or that proof bite that's hitting you. It just goes down so, so easily. That is, that is, that's really good. That is, that is damn good. Let's get a last sip, guys. Cheers. The oiliness from this is just, it's allowing those flavors just to maintain all across the palate. It's like they're stuck on the soft palate on the sides of the cheeks. All across my tongue is like this oily film. So again, you know, it, it really hasn't changed too much. You know, the, the first sip, um, you know, it wasn't as, you know, the flavors weren't as pronounced as they are on that second and third sip. But again, that, that cherry, and like that dark cherry or like a dark plum kind of sweetness of a fruit there sitting on the front of the palate that leads into that very like a, a very creamy kind of banana pudding that has like a, a subtle hint of some vanilla in there it's not it's not you know one of those um very kind of pronounced flavors there that kind of in your face but you can definitely get some of that um that vanilla and then into the back of the palate that that uh, that dried leather and then some of that saffron that kind of appears there and the mixture of the white and black pepper It's like all of those combined um, those, those kind of four flavors there are just slowly kind of pulling down into this this long finish again It's on the medium the long side, but on that longer side of the finish because it's just it's so oily That it's just it's just sticking around as, as it kind of goes down the throat and on the on the cheeks and again the soft palate up on the top it's really covering everything. And this is, again, there's no way in hell this thing drinks 137.3 proof. It's just not, it's just not there with proof. And I mean, I, I just don't, I don't understand how it didn't dry me out. It didn't, you know, give me that initial burst of, uh, of proof or that, that rye, that rye bite that you get. But it, what it does offer is the, the flavors from that rye, the, the, you know, the rye itself and obviously you know this isn't a young whiskey um you know you can you do get some you know slight hints like to said the, the leather and the oak um you know we know it's indicating that you know there is a little bit of age to this but that you know that it's just it the flavors are so dense and kind of robust and in your face and pronounced um outside of that like a little bit of vanilla there but um again outstanding stuff as always from jack daniels so I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to give a big shout out to the team over at Jack Daniels for supplying me with a sample here to review on the channel. Guys, again, um, this is a permanent now staple to the Jack Daniels single barrel line. So you can find these sitting next to the other single barrels that Jack Daniels offers. Um, I would highly recommend grabbing some of these on your shelves before they disappear. Um, these are going to be a quick grab, I can tell you that. Um, I will probably not see these in my market, unfortunately, but um, I do hope for those of you out there that are uh, Jack Daniels fans that you do pick some of these up. Again, fantastic flavors on here. Um, very pronounced, very rich and dense. Um, I love the fact that you actually get the flavor from the rye on the middle of the palate. And what shocked me the most, I would say, is just the fact that you don't get that you know you don't get that hit from the proof and you don't get that that big you know kind of uh, rye spice bite it just it's it's very kind of layered and i mean the, the texture to it you know it offers that um that great consistency across the palate um again just fantastic stuff here guys that jack daniels is putting out so if you guys are looking for more reviews like this hit that subscribe button bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams you also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Till next time, guys. Stay dusty.